guys, I feel so much better with my throat. Um, recently, uh, things like being able to come around the corner real quick, you know, swerving its way on on like Monday, like what game? Because some people already know that game. So right now, if you see me downloading a lot of Brilliant Shadow, that is because my favorite game is coming out and I want to focus on both of these games. But, of course, obviously, something has priority over the other. Neither. I'm just gonna keep playing. Don't thank us yet, child. You may have much more suffering to come. So, my cold's <laughs> better. Hella better. Ash started to wake with a kick. She was attentive and alert within moments. Mornings were easy for her. She had never known why. Assuming, of course, she hadn't done anything excessive the night before. I think I did this part already. Uh, let me check. Yes? What? You really are going to get along well with Brood. Uh. Uh. Is... I suppose, yes, we can review it again. Pretty rare, apparently. It looks. <laughs> I just wanted to. Sorry. I'm sorry that you're. It's okay, I'm sure my- You know, even if it turns out I was- Well, my reasoning is that whoever you're- Thanks for saying that. We promised we'd always be together, right? Though, it I barely knew how- Funny. He did? He came to wake- He come- Huh. So, I wrote my mother with the news. How did she handle- As well- So, a great- I'm sorry. Oh sh- Oh, my. That's quite colorful language for royalty. I know- So, hmm. well, I intend to break- What, have a- Until we- That's ridiculous. I think it's a good idea. You mean you really just- Tragic- Right? Like, I've went through all this stuff. Uh, oh well, it's worth it. That certainly sheds a positive light on my predicament. I plan to have Hex speak with the heads. He might be able to convince them of the need to get you away from here. I only just noticed it, but are you calling him Heck? Yeah, I'm Prude, you're Ash, and he's Heck. Oh. I suppose that makes sense. Why does he get a nickname already? 
because I'm a jealous woman and I'm mad because it's your like my best thing to be trying to do right now, right now. Well, I'm stuck with him for a long time one way or another. Might as well let him in and out fun a little early, no? Ash forced a smile. So back to the matter at hand. Why do you insist on heck talking to the heads? Shouldn't you have more clout, seeing as you're of a royal lineage? You should know this better than I. But I think Heck's stronger than either of the heads alone, at least in terms of magical ability. Did you notice when he picked a fight with Zachariah in your room? I noticed the blood, and when she kicked him in the stomach. Yeah, he disagreed with how they handled the situation. And what, he attacked them? More or less. I didn't really see what escalated the argument, but by the time I was there, Zachariah was on the ground, and Luciana was turning purple while his golems were pummeling him into submission. Ash, he was a student two years ago. They are the heads of their orders. He shouldn't be that strong. Despite the confrontation, they have a certain degree of respect for him. Sounds more like they have a certain degree of fear. Still... They will listen to him more than myself. I can't imagine they will still be willing to let us go. At some point, it won't be worth it for them to keep us here any longer. There really is only so much they can do to investigate this without resorting to something drastic like Heck wanted to try. So what will I do there? I'm sure my mother will find uses for a trio of mages. And what if I never find the truth behind my mark? Then you're still a capable necromancer who will, if nothing else, have a position in court. Ah, uh, and no chance of high adventure, I suppose. Perhaps not, but there was that risk when we decided to join the Kingsguard. Prudence, Veronica. Why are you about? Is there a reason we shouldn't be? Dearest goddess, I pray you're not taking after Hector so quickly. I had hoped a year or two of shame might have shackled a bit of that arrogance, but apparently it only made it infectious. Zachariah, there's no need to be so controlling. The girls are graduates after all. They may be graduates, but they're also involved in what may be the greatest scandal our school has ever experienced. I am sure we will find out what has happened in time. Hector is busy looking into it right now. Zechariah sneered. We are conducting an investigation of our own. We do not need the assistance of a freshly paired pop to. The seniors begin to laugh, and Zechariah looks embarrassed for a moment. Zachariah is still a bit sore over losing. I did not lose. He caught me off guard. Even the best warriors cannot easily counter a sneak attack. Of course, my love. A sneak attack. Now, to be frank, we are entirely fine with Mr. Warlock pursuing his own line of research. But both Zachariah and I agree that there is likely a much more mundane explanation for this. We do not understand the exact limitations of the ritual. Most likely, there was someone performing the ritual at its absolute maximum range, possibly even outside the mountain. Meaning there is someone, possibly a candidate of significant ability in skill, in a nearby village who will bear the phoenix mark. What? So you guys have been here for like 40 years, nothing ever fucking happened. And then, you don't know the range? You've been here for 40 years, you've been doing the ritual longer than that. Your teacher didn't say shit, there's nothing in the records, not at all. Are you sure? Are, are you sure? And once we find this candidate, you will have a partner, and we'll be allowed to leave. I'm confused. Why do Heck and Prude need to stay here, then? Zachariah looked uncomfortable with the question. The fact still remains that if we are wrong, Hector has conducted more research related to the subject than any living mage. 
Though my dear will be loath to admit it, his knowledge and insight may be invaluable to determining an alternative cause. If he knew so much, you'd think he would have known the range of the ritual. But she did. Mm -hmm. She's still a bit salty. Now, if you'll excuse us, we were just about to go speak with your seekers. We need to conduct a sweep of candidates immediately. Zachariah maintained a sneer as the two walk away. What does salty mean? It's a soldier term, I think. Meaning something around the lines of being upset. Huh. I like it. What I can't believe is that he just passed out so easily. Are you kidding? He was about two steps from the grave in his condition. I want to be sure, though. It doesn't bother you, right? Him sleeping in your bed, I mean. He is sleeping alone. Were he to have tried to join me, my opinion may have been different, but as it stands, I have no qualms. You're handling it better than I would. That's just because you've always had a weakness for boys. No, I mean everything. I wasn't just talking about the bed. And I don't have a weakness for boys. You just have a complete lack of regard for them. Maybe I'm just a lesbian. Who knows? You know, we've been here for... God, is how many years has it been? Fifteen? And you have yet to... Please, Prude, there is more to life than relationships. No, but... Prude. Look, I had supposed that such things would wait until I was paired and we were truly beginning our lives. Ah, so what you're saying is that you want something more romantic. Something with more substance than the fling at school. And you don't? Prude sighed. <sighs> I'm not sure what I want anymore. Ash's gr eyes grew wide before she follows Prude's gaze to a flicking Hector. You can't possibly mean... <laughs> I have the solution. Hector was up with such a jolt that both Prude and Ash were, <laughs> were against the wall, arm raised, and magic summoned. She is paired with a plant. Because clearly, if her research is correct... A long pause punk. I have lost my train of thought. More like you woke up from your dream. That may have been it. I'm actually curious as to your thought process there. Well, if Veronica is right and one can animate a plant in the same way one might a corpse, then the same potential for magic energy may exist in a plant. So, a plant perform the ritual. Hector allowed a long pause to the hang in the air before shaking his head. Okay. It made sense while I was sleeping. How do you know so much about my research? I don't share my notes. I figured out the basics by following your reading patterns in the library. What would prompt you to do that? Ash took a step back, suddenly a deal more uncomfortable with the man in her bed. Idle curiosity, mostly, and uh, I don't actually have all that much to do outside of classes. My failure to be paired killed my social life, and my own studies can only maintain my interest for so long. Other students' research occasionally provided a welcome distraction. Not sure if I should be mortified or impressed. I am allowing for an uncomfortable mixture of both. That would be reasonable. Oh, goddess, do you actually think you're creepy? I had thought that was some joke on Ash's part. I know what time every student wakes up normally. I would argue that is definitively creepy. Ash flinched a little at the at limits. Light and shadows, you're weird. Weirdest in the school. Also, the best. I think that once me and Prude get the hang of this pairing thing, I could outmatch the heads. Oh, there's an idea. Prude, have you ever considered becoming heads? Wait, wait, wait. I think, uh, if you get the pair right, you 
you'll both be outpowering the hairs, not just yourself. What the? Mmm. Mmm. Are you thinking about yourself, boy? Because, mmm. Mmm. You're pissing me off. You're pissing me off, boy. And I don't fucking like that. You're thinking about yourself? That's nice. I have a queen to worry about first. Ah, very well. I would prefer to avoid staying here anyway. Sixteen years was enough for me. I am sure you'll find plenty of ways to show off in the king's court. Oh yes, I suppose I should talk to Zachariah and Luciana about that. They let you call them by their first name? No, I call them by their first name and they must accept it. Hector's face took on a dark expression. They may not acknowledge me as their better, but they will at least provide me the courtesy of eschewing honorifics. Ah. You're being kind of intense there, Heck. Hector's face immediately lightened. He looked almost embarrassed. <clears throat> My apologies. Do you consider us your lessers, then? Hector seemed struck by the question. Ash wasn't entirely sure what had prompted resentment? No. I am clearly better than you in some areas, but you have an area of expertise entirely removed from my own. The same goes for prudence, of course. But you just said you consider yourself better than Zachariah. I can understand possibly considering yourself better than Luciana. She's a necromancer, too. Zachariah is a paladin. You have none of her abilities. I need not possess the abilities of a paladin to recognize she lacks skill. Her abilities are not deprived of finesse, talent, or even power. She merely abuses the ability of a paladin to instill strength in excess, and then uses her years of experience as a fighter. She is deadly in combat, but she is no great mage. Luciana's craft with golems is exemplary. Truly, she is gifted, but I am better. You're rather arrogant. Also creepy. But I am still the best. Ugh, let's not fight, please. I would really like my best friend and my partner to be friends. I apologize, Prudence. I will try my best. I have found no fault in anything Veronica has said. Of course, my best with social interactions is a tad worse than my magical abilities. Aw, you're adorable. Like a deranged kitten. Thank you. I am not entirely sure that was a compliment. First, we should conduct a little research. I would like to establish a range on a pairing ritual. Would you two mind helping me kidnap a few students? Oh, do you really have to call it a kidnapping? 